So uh, this is the teacher here at Yifki, and uh, what's your name? My name is Gabriel. Gabriel, excellent. And he was just explaining to me that uh, this house right here with the tin roof is a teacher's house, and then they have a kitchen back further on back behind it. And uh, how many kids do you have in the school right now? Uh, we have uh, roughly a total of, in my class, we have kindies, we have 22 students learning to read. Uh, we have 23 students. Excellent. And uh, level two and three, we have a total of 15 students. Okay, and it goes up to grade what? Uh, it goes up to level three. We are trying to make sure that by next year and the following year, uh, we the teachers, we are going to help them to go to the next grade level so that they can do as far as grade or uh, level uh, four, five, and six. Excellent. So recently I got a, uh, a printer and an inverter for this school so they can like reproduce all of their school materials. We had some money left over from the project we did back in Yambai Talk back in January and I just haven't had the time to get everything out here. But uh, my next flight out here, I'll be bringing that stuff out here if we have room. That way they can start printing out and reproducing all of their school materials um, and potentially see what else they might need out here. That's my house. Okay, from the other corner behind there, uh, there is another teacher's house there, over there, right over there. Mm -hmm. It's at the back of my kitchen. And we have the classroom building. It's right in front here, just beside my house. And we have, you can, as you can see, you, know, you can see some of the uh, corrugated hind were built. The other side there, we have a boost material, like leaves. We don't have enough um, uh, uh, money to afford school uh, material. That's why you can see the leaves. We are using the leaves to build the classrooms. And those classrooms are built by the parents of the students and uh, school leaders and the CEOs or the SETS leaders in the community. We are trying to help. We are trying to cooperate together to come up with those uh, classroom buildings. Uh, basically built by using boost material. So we need uh, help from uh, uh, the people who God wants them to help. Uh, they can uh, help us. We are still praying for help like school facilities. Uh, we need laptops to run the school administration. And we need a lot of things. It's a new school. It's a boost school. Thank you for your uh, hearing. Hi, this is Ryan, students. Morning, I'll get that. This is Ryan. This is Ryan. What are you going to say? Thank you, Ryan, for visiting our class. Okay, the students are now. They are doing the. They are doing the quiz. As you can see, there are quiz questions on the blackboard. Uh, students are sitting down and they are writing the quiz. They are answering the questions. This blackboard on the other side is for kidneys and this blackboard. Uh, on the other side is for learning to read. That teacher is here, so he's going to show you. He's going to show you. Okay. But what's your name? Name me Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Um, yes. Emmanuel David. Emmanuel David. Okay, so, good job bringing you. My name is David. So this is a level three classroom, and all my students are inside. Uh, nice, yeah. Now I'm learning on him now yet. Yeah, you you can come inside. That's this rather rain, so we want to check our classroom. So this is my students. Uh, Fourteen of them. I kept them here. So this uh, welcome to level three classrooms. That Thank you. you. See, that's how the decoration of the classroom, how the students are sitting. Um, now, by learning English or you uh, yes. learning more one? English. English, huh? Okay. So we have uh, seven subjects. I told them we have uh, math, science, social studies, physical education, and health. Oh, nice. So,
when I write in English and translate or speak in folk pisin so that they can understand. Okay. So in that way, I'm teaching. Okay. If they don't know how to read and understand, I speak to them in folk pisin I can too, mm -hmm. make them or clear or comprehend the things. So you have school five days a week? Yes, five days a week. As you can see, we have uh, our roof is built by uh, two different um, um, two different covers, like the corrugated hind there. Mm -hmm. We have another sago leaf, which is built by sago leaf. We don't have enough um, money to just buy the copper to run that school, so mm -hmm. our parents are using it to build and we can have a nice classroom here you can see and also we have um this is um desk it's like something like a, a table for them to make it easy for them to yes they can put their books on and they can write on uh due to not enough money to run at school that's why we are using uh bush material we got it from um, the bush to build that uh, that benches or is a desk so that they can the students are able to sit down and they can write easily. So we still need your help. Please pray for us, and we are still praying for you too, All right. so that we can have some help from other people who are willing to help us. Amen. Thank you very much. Yes. Heading back to Groka now. I've actually got two passengers. I was going to go on to Tari and actually shoot a video for you guys today, but uh, that was canceled. So, anyways, we're heading back to Groka. If you guys are interested in helping out potentially with this school project, um, and I haven't really thought that much about it, this is the first time I've heard about it, as far as like getting the tin roof and whatever else they need. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below, and maybe I can organize something uh to help these guys out uh, i'm not sure what your interest is i don't want to over ask you guys but anyways i know there's a lot of people out there that want to help out with things like this so anyways thanks for watching have a great one